All right, so in this problem, I have a to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 130. So I'm going to first start by rewriting 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So I get 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 130. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So these two are the same thing, meaning 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x. I can rewrite that as 2 to the power of x to the power of 3. And now I have this plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 130. Now I'm going to let 2 to the power of x equal to y. So now I have y to the power of 3 plus y is equal to 130. And if I subtract 130 on both sides, these two cancel out, and I get y to the power of 3 plus y minus 130 is equal to 0. Now, 130 is the same thing as 26 times 5. So I'm going to rewrite this as y to the power of 3 minus 25y plus 26y minus 130 is equal to 0 because 5 squared is 25 and 26 goes over here and negative 25y plus 26y is equal to y. Now. This, get me, this gets me to factoring out by grouping. So I'm going to group y to the power of 3 minus 25y and 26y minus 130. So for y to the power of 3 minus 25y, the greatest common factor is y. So I get y times y squared minus 25. Plus from 26y minus 130, I get 26 times y minus 5. Now... If I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So y squared minus 25, that's the same thing as y squared minus 5 squared, which is going to equal y plus 5 times y minus 5. So I get y times y plus 5 times y minus 5 plus 26 times y minus 5 is equal to 0. And now if I factor out y minus 5, I get y minus 5 times y times y plus 5 plus 26 is equal to 0. And this gets me to y minus 5 times y squared plus 5y plus 26 is equal to 0. Now from here... This gives me two equations. I get y minus 5 is equal to 0, and I also have y squared plus 5y plus 26 is equal to 0. So for y minus 5 equals 0, this is simple. All I have to do is add 5 on both sides, and I get y equals 5. Now for y squared plus 5y plus 26 equals 0, I'm going to have to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 5, and c is 26. So I get y is equal to negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 5 squared, which is 25, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 26, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And now this is equal to negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 26 times 4, which is 104, all over 2 times 1, which is 2. And now this is equal to negative 5 plus or minus the square root of negative 79 over 2. Now, you can't take the square root of a negative number, so this is no solution. So I'm simply left with y equals 5. And now remember how we let 2 to the power of x equal y. 
So this means that 2 to the power of x is equal to 5. Now to solve this equation, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I get log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 5. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So it's going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 2 to the power of x. And I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 2 is equal to log 5. Now if I divide both sides by log 2, these two cancel out. And I get x is equal to log 5 over log 2. And I can just rewrite this as log base 2 of 5. These two are the same thing.